heavy wheels, merchant's wagon. speed doesn't bode well. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cut of lepus. Wonder what spell requires that. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. Just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you, but you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% .67 chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't want to shag you in the bushes, but to share a pleasant evening. But if no, 
then no. Oh, all right. I'll do it. I feel honored. Truly. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gvela Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Well, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Slow now. Cinderella, we'll have a great fall. Ha! As fast as you can! Try to catch me! Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cockogander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Didn't destroy that workshop, if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Although, Fikeyle has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. Kira, wanna play hide and seek? Why not? Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Now where 
Where's that Cinderella gone to? Found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Egfane Navi. Kira? Where? Me to sleep with a spell it means she's up to something. Ah, Fike Isle, the tower. So, 
found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face. Or I might think you don't like me anymore. Didn't come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure, like a virgin's tears. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective. To defeat Emir. Curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid, whether you like it or not. It's your conscience. But you do know hundreds, thousands could die. What of it? What difference will it make if Nilfgaard's legions die by steel or because of some fucking germs? None. A plague can go wrong, go wild. A sword won't. That's the difference. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Voltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? Long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Caramoran? Bed's free of bedbugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt.
I saw you in Fusimi. Oh, all God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought, driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Hmm. Wine. Or more like vinegar. Someone drank it anyway. Could follow the scent. There's something here. Need to use the eye. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected they all got to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be. Corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curves and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Been in this hole long? For a century or so. One winter, I found shelter here. Built a fire so large, the flames leapt through the crack. Lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke and suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus, I became a god. Parasite, more like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and Melitale then, hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, giving naught in return. I talk at least. Listen here, lard ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. Anything new? Talk to your old god. Face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you. I told you the All God's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? I want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating.
Heard of the Flyhead Brigade? You're kind, sir. Pam 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 Pam
Get up. Come on, Roach. What happened here? You stupid or blind. It's clear as day. It is also clear he's a witcher. Spare him your lip and answer. I knows as much as you, meaning nothing. But with a little learning, corpses can be read like books. The black and see, fought the reds. For the bridge. We've merely seen to it that uh, nothing goes to waste. Take this fine sword, for example. Found it in the rushes. Maybe you'd like to buy it. A dead man's sword? No thanks. Dead or quick, who cares about some previous owner? Sword cuts the same regardless. But if it's not to your liking, fine. What are you staring at? Huh? That's no corpse either. Well, what? Mm -hmm. Faster. Standing Jew, I challenge you. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say. I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. 
to honour Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by duelling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have ninety nine left after you. At your service. Let's get this over with. Any last words? Yes, luck stood with me. But, but the next time we meet... Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Who's asking? A witcher. Want to talk to him? Oh. Yeah. And I want to plow with the lovely Queen Cero. Gonna let me in or not? Hey, no passage for the likes of you. Seems to me we ought to be able to come to some sort of agreement. All right. In you go. But cause any trouble, and we'll gut you faster than you can say an guardian vendetta. Open the gate. Sergeant! Ardle! Witcher! To see the Baron! Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Tamerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Tamaria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. Your mate split the loot between them long ago. That's what I would want. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. <sighs> Infosema! Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced. How we twirled. Ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. There it is, a snifter. 
Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Didn't come here to talk about the scenery. You're wrong to avoid the topic. You've just arrived, plain to see. And the local swamps and bogs, they're interesting to say the least. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri. That's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? I never lose my way. Ooh. If that's true, what are you doing so deep in the forest alone? Looking for lost little girls. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had an app to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. But father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home. And excuse me. 
explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Hmm. Bloodshot. It's still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. A bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Stay there, and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except... He's a werewolf. What happened to him? He... had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir.
wolves. Right, but quickly. often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. What? Mm. Belly's all in blood. Clawed open. No wolves did this. All right. I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire. Brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. See just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Yaren. Must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren. Uh... The little one. No details. You have bandages at home? Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. 
Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit a likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very, thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten, and you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose... An exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon. As if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that if she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar, keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away, but they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? I wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. 
Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another lass before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women... Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her... things. Nothing unusual. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did that what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's womp on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. You white one. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I don't look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. <sighs> Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Hmm. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Could use some hair of the hound. Don't 
poking around. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. I ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. A spinning top. Gritka's toy. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Bissell. Bissell. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Gonna kill the monsters. All of them. Thank you. 
And that one, oh, oh, thank the last. Where, you really Where are you chopping this? Oh, I'm fashioning a new... How may I assist you? Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Unvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Help me out. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. I do to deserve your lads. Fancy an outing to find that she beast. Uh, Been the Smiths, lass. Get two sons. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Show me what you got.
See ya. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got. See ya. Yeah. 